If at first you don't succeed, remake, remake again. That's the philosophy behind at least one of the new films this week. Ladies and gentlemen of NASA, this is Charles Xavier. Help is on the way. Dark Phoenix, the 12th installment in the X-Men series, sends the younger superheroes on a journey that rocks their world. Jean Grey, played by Sophie Turner, has been zapped by a cosmic force that heightens her powers to astronomical levels, and yes, unleashes the Dark Phoenix. The question for X-Men is save her or save themselves? Jennifer Lawrence, Michael Fassbender, and James McAvoy are on the case, and as you might imagine, they pool their Marvel resources and demonstrate why fans like these films. Now, because the younger cast still has the ability to run, jump, and interact with new characters, director Simon Kinberg offers up plenty of action. But don't question the use of special effects. This sequel was filmed in 2017 and didn't get finished until early this year. What that means for fans is anyone's guess. Was it a troubled film or a confusing one? Or was time necessary to produce excellence? Now, because the film wasn't previewed for critics, we're crossing our fingers. Max, we're going on a trip! Really? No need to worry about Secret Life of Pets Part 2. It features all of those dogs and cats you loved in the first film and a trio of parallel plot lines that produces a plucky new pet, a dog played by Harrison Ford. In the sequel, Max and his brother Duke have to put up with the arrival of a child in a trip to the country. There they meet Rooster, a gruff farm dog voiced by Ford, who dishes up plenty of his advice and his own way of dealing with humans. Now back in the city, Snowball teams up with a Shih Tzu who wants to save a tiger from an evil circus owner, and Gidget tries to help Chloe rescue a missing toy. The animated film has lots of action and sight gags, and some great voice work from Kevin Hart, Tiffany Haddish, and Jenny Slate. The goal is to get the pets to step outside of their comfort zones and learn something new about themselves. Director Chris Renaud hasn't toyed with much of the formula, but he has replaced Louis C.K. with Patton Oswalt as the voice of Max. Oswalt does a fine job and keeps the pets in line for what should be another sequel. Now, by the time this reaches its 12th installment, expect a time lag. At least that's what Dark Phoenix has taught us. With your Movies in a Minute, I'm Bruce Miller.